hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl roxy here again so today's project i'll be using this wood i'll state the measurements for the wood in my description box so i started by aligning the woods together i had to use stapler to hold my woods in place so as to make it easier to screw them down together stapler made it easier to hold the wood in place so as to make it easier for me while screwing them down using the drill gun There was a space left while joining my wood so I had to add a smaller wood on that gap to fill in the gap and then I pinned it down. I then used one inch screws to join my wood on the sides and also on the bottom part of my table. My today's project I got inspiration from this beautiful Estelle table. So I'll be making this beautiful coffee table. If you're watching from Facebook, click the three buttons on top, select open in YouTube so that you can give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I had to make sure I put enough screws on my coffee table to make it strong enough. I then took 6 by 6 inches wood. This will act as the legs for my coffee table. I started with this pattern but I noticed it's not giving me the square on both sides since I wanted my legs to be square all round. So I changed into this pattern so as to get the four sides of my legs to be equally of the same size. I then covered my legs with an old MDF I had at home which was 6 and a half inches by 6 and a half inches. I'll be adding another wood on top which is 4 inches by 4 inches which will be used to lift my coffee table a little bit higher. So I had to make sure this wood fits at the middle part of my tables. And then went outside and spray painted my legs. So this is how it's supposed to look like when placed on top. I used screws to join my legs to the top part of the coffee table. So I had to join all four sides of my coffee table. After I was done fixing my bottom part, I took the top part cover for the coffee table and just did the same as the other part. I use screws to join the top part to the bottom part of my coffee table. As I had shown you in the beginning of my video whereby I added another wood because there was some space left, I ended up removing the wood and reduced my coffee table into the size that will fit perfectly with the side woods. So I'll state down the measurements that I came up with after reducing my coffee
blowing it down the mirror has to float a little bit higher to avoid scratching the the and glue down the top mirror of my And after my coffee table was cleaned, guys, this is the final look of my beautiful coffee table. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comment section what you think about this beautiful coffee table I've made. I got my inspiration from Estelle coffee table, which I've just shown you in the beginning of the video. It was easy to make, but it takes time. But I love how it has turned out, guys. This would look good if you have a big living room. But you can just make any size that you want that will fit your living room. I'll be so happy if you give me a thumbs up and also share my videos with your friends and family. For more videos, check out my end screen and also my playlist. See you next time for some new videos. Thank you and bye bye.